I have seen lost freaky episodes of Teletubbies, but this one isn't scary this time, it's sad. You will need some tissues as I narrate this, so be prepared. It was my 19th birthday. I was opening up my presents and I just got a rare Teletubbies DVD that my mom found. The DVD was called, Teletubbies, Kevin's, and Other Stories. The cover consisted of the Teletubbies in a green background, with Paul being the nearest. The first four episodes listed were, Kevin's, Rebecca's dogs, basketball and dad's portrait. The last episode listed was, Dealing with Passings. What an unfamiliar episode title. I spoke. I felt really interested in this DVD I thought of watching, but I didn't have enough time to watch it because I had to go out for my birthday. So, it was four days after my birthday and I finally got a chance to watch the DVD. The opening was normal, then it took me to the menu. It consisted of the Teletubbies from the episode Kevin's, where they were watching the voice trumpets making meow sounds. I pressed play to watch them from start to finish. The first four episodes were good, but the final episode? It was so depressing. Before the episode started, there was a warning. This episode was produced in dedication for the passing of a young Australian Teletubbies fan, and this episode is put on this DVD to promote Teletubbies being pulled off of ABC. The content you are about to see is not for anybody who is easily sensitive. Watch at your own risk. Oh, I am so sorry for this young Teletubbies fan. I muttered sadly under my breath. The intro was normal, even the voice trumpet said its regular intro line after the Teletubbies left. Where have the Teletubbies gone? The first segment started. Poe came into the shop riding on her scooter and noticed the narrator and walked up to him. Ew. Greeted Poe. One day, in Teletubby land, the narrator began. Poe was playing with her favorite rabbit, Pop Star. Just then, a rabbit dressed in a red coat came hopping out of a rabbit burrow. There she is. The narrator said. Poe turned around and gasped when she noticed Pop Star. Poe play with Pop Star. Poe said excitedly. Poe stepped onto her scooter and rode it around while Pop Star began to follow her. Poe slowly rode her scooter in case she would run over Pop Star. When Poe and Pop Star reached the house, the former heard the windmill spin. She then ran out of the shop to find the rest of the Teletubbies. Dipsy was chosen for this TV event. The TV event showed a boy and girl, presumably siblings, waving to the camera slowly. Hello. Hello. The two children said in a depressed monotone. The Teletubbies realized the children didn't look happy, they exchanged confused glances. Come and see. The boy said. It showed a photo of a black and white dog with the girl and boy petting it. This is our late dog, Roger. The girl said. We really miss him. The boy and girl opened up their doorhouse and walked outside. They then came across their dog Roger's grave. This is where Roger is buried. Said the boy. We can still hear his playful barks in our heads. Said the girl, almost crying, shedding tears. The boy put his hand on his sister's shoulder to comfort her. Just then, they heard their mother call for them. Maxwell, Nina, we have a slight show for you. The kids looked up behind them and noticed their mother and walked back to the house. Okay kids, it's time for a very important afternoon to remember our beloved pet. Maxwell and Nina's father said. The slideshow started. The many pictures seen throughout the slideshow featured ones like the day the family adopted Roger, the kids playing with Roger holding his dog toys, Roger sleeping with the children and the kids and Roger sitting on a grassy field. As soon as the slideshow finished, Maxwell and Nina then embraced and cried. Their parents then joined the embrace, patting them on their backs. I miss Roger! Maxwell cried. Me too! Nina said as well. The kids continued crying until it cuts to another scene where they said goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Maxwell and Nina said glumly, not crying anymore, but still sad. The Teletubbies said. Bye bye. Back, but sounding sympathetic. The TV event repeated and once it finished its repeat, it cut to the sun baby, but she looked like she was about to cry. It then showed the final segment. It started with Poe riding her scooter while her favorite rabbit pop star followed her. Ew. Poe said, waving to the narrator. One day, in Teletubby land, 
Poe and Pop Star were playing together. The narrator stated. Poe and Pop Star play together. Poe giggled. Poe then sat down on the grass and petted Pop Star. She loved her favorite rabbit very much. She would never let anything bad happen to her. Oh, Poe. Called Lala off screen. This got Poe's attention. It cut to Tinky Winky, Dipsy and Lala with their favorite things. Poe play with Tinky Winky, Dipsy and Lala? Tinky Winky asked. Yes. Poe answered. She ran to the other Teletubbies to meet her, leaving Popstar and her scooter behind. Popstar then walked up to Poe's scooter and sniffed it. As Poe and the others were playing, Dipsy asked her something. Poe, Popstar Poe favorite rabbit? Yes, Popstar Poe favorite rabbit. She and the other Teletubbies then decided to play with each of their three favorite things. After about 19 seconds of playing, the Teletubbies heard the sound of metal falling and a skull cracking, startling them. The Teletubbies looked off screen and Poe gasped loudly. Just then, it cut to the most heartbreaking scene in a Teletubbies episode. Popstar was lying on the ground stunned, with Poe's scooter handle crushing her head. Popstar! Nyayayayo! Poe screamed. The Teletubbies ran up to Popstar and Poe moved her scooter away from the ladder. She then picked her up and tried to check if she was okay. Popstar could move one of her paws, she seems to still be alive. Popstar okay? Poe asked worriedly. Popstar moved her paw for one more time and finally died. The Teletubbies were shocked. In fact, their faces changed from their regular happy faces to frowns. Popstar, no. Poe moaned, about to cry. Oh no, Popstar had died. The narrator said, now crying. Popstar died. Poe began to shed tears and started crying. Her sobs were very realistic I felt really horrible watching this. Lala choked a couple of sobs, while Tinky Winky sniffled, trying to not cry. Dipsy not cry, Dipsy not cry. Dipsy said under his breath, trying not to cry. However, he couldn't hold his tears back, he just sobbed too. Tinky Winky put his hand on his shoulder. It showed a shot of all the Teletubbies sobbing and grieving for Popstar. It cut to the baby son, she looked really depressed as she was crying. It then cut to another scene. This time, it showed the Teletubbies standing in front of a tombstone. The tombstone read, Here lies Popstar, the best rabbit Poe ever had. Popstar had gone up to heaven. She went to a better place now. The narrator said, about to cry. The Teletubbies nodded tearfully. Teletubbies will always love Pop Star. The narrator said. The Teletubbies always love Pop Star. Poe said, starting to cry too. <laughs> and Teletubbies will always love each other very much. <laughs> the narrator finished, finally crying. <laughs> The Teletubbies yelled in tears. The Teletubbies embraced and sobbed very hard. Their sobs sounded very real as if their actors were depressed. They even began shedding dozens of tears as they embraced. It then cut to the sun baby sobbing. Her cries were heartbreaking to hear. Just then, the Tubby Bye Bye segment played. However, it was entirely sad. All of the characters sounded very depressed and the sun baby sobbed the entire time. And throughout the entire segment, depressing piano music played. The Ragdoll and BBC logos were normal, unlike the previous two lost episodes I saw. And this time, the ABC DVD logo was normal. It then took me back to the DVD menu. I was stunned by this episode, I cried too. I thought of uploading the episode to YouTube so I recorded it and published it. I had thousands of views, 500 comments, and 1000 likes. I showed my mom the footage and she was stunned. She even cried for a bit too. My mom allowed me to keep the DVD since the lost episode wasn't disturbing and sadder. If you ever think of somebody you lost in your life, this episode I just saw would explain how everybody feels. Poor Teletubbies.